Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying The World is Your Weapon. This is going to be a funky one, I'll tell you what. Um, let's, let's jump into it. I'm going to start a new game. I haven't actually played any of the game. Let's turn that down a little bit. Wiko uh, is a young weapons merchant living in a tranquil village set amidst a peaceful world. Following her dreams to become a renowned merchant, Wiko continues her search for powerful weapons. Stinking stiletto! She is suddenly surrounded by slimes. Wiko finds herself in trouble because she has no weapon to fight with. But Wiko uh, refuses to give up on her dream. She still has so much left to do. To avoid a game over from the get-go, she'll give her all in this battle. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> do it. Ra! Wiko thought, I can't win barehanded. There must be something here I can use as a weapon. It was then that she remembered her father's last words. Wiko, pawn me. I don't have much longer to listen carefully. Uh, when you fight, arm yourself with anything and everything available to you. That's what it means to be a true weapons merchant. Uh, and then he died. Wiko whispered, thanks, dad. If you don't have a weapon, find yourself one. Okay, look for something you can use to take care of the slimes. Um, I'm using the k game pad for this. Or tap on Wiko to and drag her to where you want to move. This game does use RPG Maker, uh, or is is built on the uh, uh, RPG Maker engine. Maybe I should uh, switch to keyboard and mouse. Actually, wait, no, that doesn't. We'll, we'll see. Pick up uh, weapons. Press the D key or pick up weapon, but to pick up the weapon in front of you. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, yeah, it's square to pick up weapons while well, I'm using a PS4 controller. Spade, you haven't used this weapon yet. Use it against an enemy to check its information. Okay, equip. Press the enter key attack button or tap on the enemy to attack them. Press the shift key or tap on Wiko to check the attack range of your... I really wish we had button layouts at all. The attack range is unknown for newly obtained weapons. Details about an unused weapon such as its attack and effects will be revealed once it's used against an enemy. Every weapon has a durability value. This weapon goes... Oh no, durability! Uh-oh. The, 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 the sacred text. The, the cursed mechanic that instantly makes everything it touches awful. <laughs> uh, broken weapons will disappear from your inventory. If it's a weapon you picked up, it will rematerialize in the place you found it. It's a durability and any of uh, anvil enhancements will be reset, however. Okay. <clears throat> so what's oh, what is attack nope whoa did i just excuse me you haven't used this weapon yet dirt <laughs> okay um do i have okay let's look at my inventory hold on a second okay circle is attack so we did dig the ground with the shovel and then we did get dirt as a weapon so yes this game um is accurate to its name the world is your weapon everything is a weapon in this game i'm trying not to oh yeah oh i didn't want to walk right up to them in you know classic traditional roguelike uh tactics weapon info unlocked a tool used to dig holes it can also be used as a weapon immobilize turn one we could earned nine experience you got 18 gold we killed another so this game's got some very obvious like um kind of meta and sarcastic tones to it but it is actually i think um it's it's worth saying that it is a traditional roguelike now i would like to wait okay there we go it's uh le uh the right m bumper can we attack okay we attack in front of us so there's actually like directional tactics in this game can we change direction? Oh, I accidentally used a herb. Okay, we can change directions. There we go. And I think it is free to do so. Um, okay, and then we face down and an attack, and there we go. And we've killed the last slime. Maybe we'll level up. 
you got 13 gold You beat those slime balls Nice Uh, okay Nice, I like the art on the slime Thus, Wiko successfully defeated the slimes using various weapons. She thought to herself, this is how I become a famous weapons merchant. And thus begins Wiko's foray into the wonderful world of weapons. The world is your weapon. Title drop. We did it. The game is over. What? Oh, I see we were saving. Tired from the fight, Wiko headed home. Oh, you know what? I just realized her name is Weko. Because it's weapon. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, sis. Where'd you go? Wow, what a story. It must have been crazy. I'm just glad you're all right. And apparently really strong, too. That reminds me. Why? How come all uh, like anime style games or, or like anime in general, whenever they depict like a child or anything, they always have they give them that one little fang. They always have the one little fang in their mouth. What's up with that? What's going on with the fang? This article was in this week's Arms Week. Give it a read. Breaking news: Legendary weapon discovered. There are several wonders of the world, but we've gotten word about something that simply screams adventure. It's the weapon of Yendor. No, uh, <clears throat> an ancient we legendary weapon is hidden somewhere in the world. It's known to us only as the Legend of Legends sword, AKA the LOL sword. After catching wind of its existence, adventurers far and wide have searched everywhere to no avail. Will you set off on your own adventure to search for this legendary weapon? Yeah, I guess I will. What do you think? Sounds like a sack full of matches if you ask me. Uh, ask me. Sorry, machetes. I can't be bothered, but you should totally go find this legendary weapon. Just imagine the price it could fetch. We, uh, Weko had no words. I, I you know, I, I kind of want to do a playthrough of, at some point of Riketeer. Maybe for the channel, I don't know. But I really do like uh, any game that makes use of... Um, weapon or sorry merchant mechanics except moonlighter i can't stand that game i'm not gonna get into it but anyway <laughs> i uh i i would like to play I, i'd like to see more games make use of the of like adventuring and then also you're running a um a shop as a sideline wicko had no words the lol sword a legendary weapon that ha that no one has ever seen to imagine that something like that exists in this world how could i not fantasize about it Wecko thought in a trance. You okay, sis? I was just kidding. You're seriously gonna go look for it? Actually, you don't need to answer that. It's written all over your face. I know better than to try and stop you when you've already made up your mind. You're gonna go? I'm all for it. Leave the shop to me. I can handle things. Well, there goes that dream. No weapon mechanics, I guess. In return, you'd better find it. The LOL sword. Do it for dad, too. Okay, I'll do it for dad. There are various things to do at home. Check the icons. You can sell what? Yo, the dream is real. You can sell weapons by placing them on the shop table. Up to five weapons can be placed on a single table. Once placed, the weapons are sold in approximately 10 to 20 minutes of real time. The weapons will automatically be sold even if you close the game. That is bizarre. You will lose the weapons once they are sold. If it's a weapon you picked up, it will rematerialize re in the place you found it. Durability and anvil enhancements will be reset. Okay. Place the weapon on the shop table. Choose from inventory. Y'all want some dirt? I got some dirt. You can buy my dirt. There it is. Finest in the land. Actually, technically is land. Ring, ring. Hello there. This is Mr. Smith, the source of for all your smithing needs. Well, if it isn't Weko, I'm always happy to hear from my regular customers, but don't don't you find yourself wanting a certain weapon but can't be bothered to go find it? If that's ever your situation, give me a call. I'll make you one faster than the speed of light. Faster than McDowell's, faster than Burger Queen. Mr. Smith always delivers. You can use your home telephone to contact the blacksmith. The blacksmith allows you to forge weapons that you've previously discovered. 
You can even forge weapons that you have found but not used yet. The weapons you forge are available immediately. You simply need to cover the forging costs, money. However, this is a limit to there's a limit to the number of each weapon you can forge. Okay, I'm done with my spiel now. Uh, hello there. This is Mr. Smith, the source for all your smithing needs. Hang up. Okay. You can talk to your younger sister, Ponmi, to restore Weko's HP and cure any sta status ailments. You can also buy various upgrades and herbs. Buy herbs. It's tough out there. Need any help? Buy herbs. I want herbs. Um, are they 156G or is that how much? Oh, I see. They cost like 10G. Let's. Oh, I see. I get a deal if I buy five. So I get a deal of five gold. My my uh, my sister is a real wheeler and dealer. It's like, well, sis, for you, I'll give you a deal. Five gold off if you buy five of them. Always a pleasure. Sure. Want some herb? Want some herb? I got some herb. Yeah, you want some dirt? I got some dirt. The ledger of the sales made by weapon shop. Weppo yo 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 yoon. Weppo yo yo yoon. It says that weapon shop weppo yo yo yoon has sold zero weapons for zero g go for one million gold in total sales yo I'm, am i sensing a series weko looked in the pot what's that a herb i got a herb i got a herb weko looked in the pot unfortunately it's empty look in the box swung the spade okay pick up weapons Fight enemies with weapons you pick up and unlock info about them. Add to the weapons gallery. Sell weapons. Repeat the process to earn XP. Grow stronger and find the legendary weapon you seek. Let's pick up various things and as, as much as you can. Use them and add many weapon to the weapons gallery. Can I pick up this tree? Uh, how, do, how does one... Oh, you haven't used this weapon yet. I was kidding, but we can pick up the tree and start using it as a weapon. You can discard weapons from the look at she's holding the whole goddamn tree though Discarded weapons will disappear Um, what's stopping me from picking up every tree? Yo, never mind breath of the wild we we can uh What what is weapon durability when literally everything is a weapon? Can we pick up the dog bow wow? You tried to pick up the dog how to pick up weapons enemies when picking up an enemy to use as a weapon, they will dodge your attempt if you try to pick them up right away. First lower their HP, then pick them up. Oh, uh, am I gonna be a bastard? And... I don't think I can pick up the dog. I noticed that this uh, tree has a range of attack. Let's, uh, let's go do some combat. As she left the village, Weko, Weko sorry, remembered something about her father. I like how absolutely dog shit this art is and how like this game is not new how old is this game 2019 we've had three years to improve this art and i don't think that like i, I think that we're deliberately keeping it like this and i respect that honestly <laughs> what going but look at that background art yo that is just like Two seconds, 2,000 hours in MS Paint right there. Weko and Ponmi's father, Dirk, was an expert expert weapons merchant. Oh, I, I miss Dirk gently. God damn it. He was a cutlass above the rest, so to speak, and also proficient with any weapon. He'd often exclaim, I'm going to collect all the weapons in the world. Weko would frequently play and mimic her father with a blade of grass in her hand. She really looked up to him. But one day, Dirk was gone, a few days later. Oh no, it's sad now. He came home bruised and battered. His wounds were tended to, but it was too little too late. As Weko and Ponmi stood by his side, Dirk said to them, Weko, Ponmi, I don't have much longer, so listen carefully. When you fight, arm yourself with anything and everything available to you. That's what it means to be a true- We already got this flashback. Uh... We, well, Weko thought to herself, that sounds epic, but I have no idea what it means. <laughs> and with that, Dirk took his last breath. Afterwards, Weko naturally followed in her father's footsteps. Well, somewhere deep down, she probably wanted to be just like him. Amazing. True protagonist material we've got here. 
Weko looked to the sky and reminisced about her father used to swing uh, how her father used to swing his sword. I'm going to find this lol sword and become a weapons merchant as great as he was. Weko was reminded of her lifelong dream. Explore the world and acquire that legendary weapon. Ah, this is this is my game, I can tell. It's a delightfully shit posty. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button, in fact. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Yeah. Oh, that range of attack is quite nice. A typical tree found throughout the land. Har over harvesting is becoming a problem lately. We leveled up. Weko's level went up to two. Choose your level up bonus. Um, let's do attack. We'll do health later. Weko's attack increased. Weko's HP have been completely restored. Ow, okay, the bat's got some chops. Okay, I want to get them down and now check this out. Yo, you haven't used this weapon yet. <laughs> We're using this bat. Yo, you're mine. You're mine, dude. Okay, let's wait. Oh, I should have used a herb, actually. Can I use one now? Does that use a turn? It doesn't use a turn. I appreciate that. Okay, let's use our bat to do some damage. Ooh. Oh, that does a lot of damage. A bat that bites as it flies around. Beware of its nimble movements. Times to attack. Ouch. Can we... I want to... Yeah, yeah, get them down to low health. This, this, the game is like Pokemon, but good. Shots fired. No, um, it's... <laughs> this is actually amazing. You haven't used this weapon yet. Use it against an enemy to check its information. I... I love this. This is a, This is fantastic. Yo, what is this feeling? Is this happiness? I love it. Um, trying to get in a good position here. Attack. Uh, blue gaze's attack increased. Weapon info unlocked. A creepy monster with countless eyes. It lowers your attack. Casts attack weakening magic. Does it cast that on me or the enemy? Uh, I think, I think it casts at attack weakening on the enemy and it's very confusing right now because the enemy is also doing that to me. I like that little effect there. That's kind of fun. Let's grab this blue gaze. You haven't used this weapon yet. Use it to, uh, against an enemy to check its information. So you can just like upscale forever. Who's this lad here? Do you have a quest? Wow, the water in this pond feels great. What about you, young lady? You want to jump in? It's so soothing. Oh, yeah? Ah, ha, ha, the entire pond. You haven't used this weapon yet. Use it. <laughs> it is fantastic. Oh, my God. Look at the area of attack there. Smacko. And it uses water as well. A lovely pond full of lotus leaves. The lotuses make it more powerful than a normal pond. Emits water. Lightning resistance down 100%. Um, grab the chicken. Decibel bird. You haven't used this. This is amazing. I love this. This is fantastic. Give me one second here. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say this right now. If there's call for a series on this, um, seeing as it is technically a traditional roguelike, uh, why don't we? Why don't why, like just just let me know. Poke poke me for a series on this. I I, I, won't, I would maybe not like do it if there's no interest, but I would do it if there's any interest. What is happening with this chicken? An unbelievably loud bird. Nary a soul could sleep through its song. Prevents non-standard attacks. Let's, uh, you know, let's just keep... Oof. Is that a goblin down there? And remember, uh, everything has durability, right? Ooh, oh, we killed it. Um, and I think our chicken died. Hold on, I gotta go and fish out a, a new weapon. Um, oh, I don't think we know what this does yet. Let's equip that. 
cast defense weakening magic. I think that the I appreciate that we take we get XP for even just doing damage because um, the chances are pretty good that I'm gonna want to pick up anything that I'm fighting as a weapon. So um, you don't you don't necessarily want to kill things. You want to do some damage and gain some XP and then pick it up. Yeah, it is a goblin. You haven't used this weapon yet. What does this guy have to say now? Wow, the water in this pond feels great. Oh, okay. I was hoping he would have different dialogue since I took his pond. Let's uh, heal and then I'm gonna fight this thing. The mischievous monster, it likes to throw things. Throws weapons. Does a little bit of extra damage. And we'll grab that as well. I am, uh, I'm picking up as much as I can because I'm gonna want to do some, uh, like, put them in my store afterwards, right? Smacko. Ooh. That was an instant kill. Oh, but my goblin! You leveled up. Choose your level up bonus. Let's uh, increase our max HP. Wiko's max HP. Uh, sorry, Weko. I keep saying Wiko, but it's Weko. It's very clearly Weko. Can we take this grass field? Yo! <laughs> Can we take this uh, skeleton? Yo! Let's just store that. No. Um, so we got a good area of effect. Let's see what this grass field does. Ooh, it attacks three times. Looks like it could fly up at you. We must not speak of it any further. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, I'll grab this monster as well. Just store it for now. I like the uh, grass field. Let's uh, see what this chest has. Hellfire sword. You haven't used it yet. That seems really good. And hey, by the way, <laughs> treasure chest. Grab that. Actually, just store that for now. And also, you know, while we're at it, that's right, white tile. Let's see that. Let's see that in action. Oh, this guy actually. Oh, we can attack twice, three times. Uh oh. Oh, I think we're gonna die. Um. All right. You know what? Let's not mess around with this guy. I'm gonna use this hellfire sword and see what that does. Ooh. Ooh. Hellfire sword, magical sword imbued with this power of fire. One swing is more than enough to fire things up. And I love that it didn't kill the jellyfish because then we can pick them up. Magic jellyfish. Let's go ahead and equip them. I'm assuming they're they have a paralyzing effect. Yep. I kind of want to keep this though for this. I bet you this sells pretty good in the store. So let's use a tree to kill the uh, jellyfish. Oh no, the tree broke. Yeah, um, this, th this game is good. I like this a lot. We use the skeleton. Corpse, somebody's corpse. It'll never talk back to you. Instant kill. Oh, really? Oh, but it has very little durability. Okay, so that's what that, that's what, what that shield means. Can we pick up this gem as a, as a weapon? Yes, we can. I like this. It it, uh, it didn't instantly kill though. Um, I was hoping it would instantly kill. It did not. All right, let's use this guy against this guy. Uh oh, it missed him. Oh, instantly it, that killed him dead. Wait, no, he's still got a little bit of health, so we we can pick it up again. So I think that the number uh, correlates to how many times we can use it before it, it dies. Let's try. Well, it's got durability four. Yeah. Okay. So it decreases every time I do that. Okay. So that's that is a mystery solved. I definitely want to, um, I guess I'd like to switch weapons. We have limited uh, inventory space, it's worth noting. So let's try what this, what does this floor tile do? 
Oh, very, very little damage. A white tile made of stone, four tiles make a single set. But, you know, we, I guess we gain experience from l learning uh, what weapons do. Maybe that's it. We, we don't gain experience from combat at all. We gain experience from learning what weapons do. And maybe also killing things. So, okay. Let's grab this palm tree and find out what that does. Hey, isn't that uh, the guy from Jojo? What's his name? Can't remember his name. He's in Jojo uh, series two. It's a campfire, yay. Oh yeah? Well, we can take the, can the fire itself and then also the fire pit, okay. So we got all kinds of stuff going on over here. The name's Kikanji. I'm on an adventure to find the legendary weapon. Unfortunately, I have zero leads. The caves seem like a good place to start, but my mom, my mommy always told me to stay away from the shady places like that. So what is this? Using anvils places placed in various parts of the world allows you to service and upgrade your weapons. So you can restore the durability of your current weapon to its maximum value. Increases your weapon's attack and critical hit rate. Galvanize. Prevents your weapon's durability from decreasing. The weapon will be lost if the durability value decrease is prevented five times. Galvanizing can be stacked many times. Temper a weapon to raise its level. It will be permanently boosted. It will, oh, it will permanently boost the weapon's attack value. Any action besides repairing your weapons requires the use of Arma Stones. They can be acquired by defeating enemies. And also can be found in various other... Okay, so we do definitely want to kill things an anvil you can use it to maintain your weapons we don't own any i guess i picked up that stone as a weapon and not as a stone so that was very silly of me huh well we may as well find out what it does ah it broke i'll be right back Okay, well, lesson learned. Um, don't don't pick these up as weapons. Actually, is my controller? Oh no, my controller is not working anymore. No. Hold on. Okay, well, we'll switch to keyboard and mouse for now. Um, can do I have to use the arrow keys? Oh, we're not doing like any damage to this guy. Well, that's because we're not using a weapon, of course. Um, change weapon. Let's, uh, let's use the palm tree. That makes sense. Enter. Ooh. The tree that grows in the south. It reminds you of the tropics. Okay. 33 damage. This guy doesn't play around. Um, let's pick up weapon. You haven't used this weapon yet. Use it against an enemy to check its information. Um... Right, we don't have any gems, so we can't uh, upgrade anything. Let's. Uh, how do we change our direction? Whoops. Enter is apparently also attack. Um, I'd like to be able to change directions, but I don't know what it is. Shift. Shift. Okay, there we go. A large humanoid creature, completely made of stone. It doesn't fear cuts from blades. We've almost leveled up. Oof. That's that's a pretty nasty hit. We've got one last herb, so we're gonna take that and then we'll attack. We'll, we'll try. We'll pick this guy up as well. Pick them up. Store. I think we're just about full up on weapons, so why don't we actually head back? Um, can we talk to this guy? The name's Kikajan Kikanji. I think I already. Unfortunately, I have zero leads. This, the cave seems like a good place to start, but my mommy always. Okay, so I guess the caves is where we're going. Wetco looked in the pot. Unfortunately, it's empty. We could probably have picked up the pot, but I think we've got enough weapons to sell. Mystery challenge. Try to survive. Survival Island has opened. Let's find out the glowing well of Peaceville. Aim for high score. Okay, so now what, what is down here? In the basement. What is, what is this? 
Underground weapons exhibition room. Here you can display your favorite weapons. You can display weapons by examining display stands or the back wall. You can take your weapons with you at any time. Um, fun. I kind of wish that maybe you could like display weapons that you've used and not necessarily weapons that you have. It seems to be able to change the setting of the weapon display room here. Actual size mode? What does that mean? Oh, I see. So it's going to change this, the size of the weapons. Okay, so if I put a tree on display, it'll it'll display its actual size. That's kind of funny. All right, let's um let's put some weapons for sale. Oh, that's our dirt. We sold it for 50, 50 gold, and we got some money uh, experience. We we get experience from selling items. Choose your level up bonus. Let's do attack again. Weko attack increased. Increase to plus two. Weko's HP has been completely restored. Place a weapon on the shop table. Yes. Um, choose from armory. I mean, that's interesting. Okay, so first of all, let's... Um, oh, okay. Some of these are... Well, that treasure chest is really... Oh, we didn't um, check the, the damage on that. So I should I should hold off on that. Well, let's um, let's put in the, the Lotus Pond. And let's put these guys on. And I kind of want to put this fire on, but that it seems to be pretty valuable. Um, and I don't know how, like, I don't know how much damage it does. I don't know anything about it yet. Let's put this palm tree on in the tree. So we have five items on, in the store now. And that's going to be a good amount of money we make. It says the weapon shop Wepa Yo Yo Yoon has sold one weapons for 50 gold. I appreciate this mechanic. I don't know how helpful it is in the grand scheme of things, but I appreciate it all the same. We made some money, so we can, uh, we should buy some more herbs. Let's buy 50. Wait, did those say 70 now? Oh, they go up every time. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, so herbs become more expensive over time that's good to know we should explore some of these other places we can can we pick this up yeah grassy patch is actually a pretty good weapon too <laughs> there's something really funny about seeing this i actually can't see some of the game because of our weapon if it isn't weko i take it business is good you're on an adventure to find the we legendary weapon good luck by the by, I got a weapon that looks quite powerful. Want it? It's probably too much for me to handle, but it might be, might help you on your adventure, Weko. In return, I do have a favor to ask, though. Yes. Cool beans. Weeds have taken over the land to the right of my house. I'd like you to clear them all out. Okay, then. You know what to do. Did I just do that? I think I did that before I entered. Just nine more and you'll be finished weeding. You can do it. Um... Is it this stuff? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh-oh. The entire house. Um, oops. The entire house is a weapon. Oh, no. You, you gotta be careful with uh, this pickup weapons button. Oh, I see. So you, if you pick up items and you don't have any room, then they go to your armory. Okay. Good to know. Um, I hope she's not upset that I took her house. You missed, took some beautiful flowers for a weed, didn't you? I wanted to leave them because they were so beautiful. Return them, will you? If you go to the menu, discard the beautiful flowers and leave town. They should come back. Sorry for the hassle. Yeah, yeah you're sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Um, okay, inventory. Except they all went to my armory. Uh, remove. Discard. There we go. Um, okay. So, uh, wait. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Things are getting complicated now. What's that? What's, what's with the well? What's this? A bright light shines from within the well? Check shining wells to take on a difficult challenge within them. Do your best to achieve a high score. It's also an easier way to get armor stones. More well challenges might be added in future updates. 
Take a well challenge? Sure. Select the challenge you wish to attempt. Try to survive. Survival Island. As many turns as possible on an island with countless monsters. It's over as soon as Weko dies. You can take up to 16 weapons with you. Boost your score by surviving turns and defeating monsters. Initially, you'll be able to carry five herbs. Monsters may also drop them. You will not receive any XP or money for defeating monsters. You will not be able to save either. Okay. Uh, I'll do this and then I'll probably call it for this and I am I am definitely interested in doing some kind of series for this a short while later Hey sis, I heard an interesting rumor the other day. Apparently there are some valuable items at the bottom of the well How cool is that? I wish I could collect some small tokens and earn a hoarder shield from the king himself That's why you should totally go check the check out the well and so Pomni Ponmi made a Request of Weko. However, Weko did not agree. On the inside, Weko was thinking a stashing sword would be so much better. Okay. Thus, Weko jumped into the well with high hopes. However, what Weko saw there was a clear blue sky. Before she knew it, Weko was soaring through the sky with a parachute. Weko thought to herself, what's going on? This isn't what I was expecting at all. Don't tell me a hundred of us are going to land on an island somewhere and duke it out in a battle royale. Yo, where are we dropping, boys? Weko prepared her body and soul for the upcoming battle. Uh, carried by the wind, she landed on the ground. It's a mysterious little island that appears to be deserted except for Weko. And the numerous bloodthirsty monsters roaming the field, of course. Bucko thought to herself, so she just wanted to go home. Fight to survive on this island of monsters. Ouch. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I 100% did not mean to do that. Let's put, pick out a decent weapon. Like this guy. Equip that. Yeah. Alright. Um, attack. We don't get XP for doing this. Wow, that creature... The bat takes some damage, I'll tell you what. But it's lowering their defense. Please die. Okay, that's our... Oh, I should have grabbed the bat. As a... As a oh, okay. Got an armor stone, nice. We'll have to take a herb. Um, we're gonna have to change weapons already. Let's try the private house. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my god! Holy crap. A complete stranger's house. Their lack of objection to its weaponization is disturbing. We got XP from that, but only because we figured out a new weapon. Let's pick up this bat. The, the bat is actually pretty good. All right, then the, the bat gets to move twice. And that explains why when we attack with it, we get to attack twice. Pop, pop. Ouch use a herb and then grab the bat we've already used two of our okay what we want to do is wait and then attack the goblin is a tough cookie ouch um let's change weapons i'm gonna use this hellfire sword i actually kind of wish i had been able to pick up that goblin. The goblin is quite nice. Hellfire Sword's got some really good durability. I don't I, I don't want to use that if I can help it. Ooh, what is that? Let's use the jellyfish on them. I think it'll paralyze them, maybe? Nope. Um... Yeah, let's just keep hitting them. We can prob... Let's... Oh, never mind. We, we got a critical. And the jellyfish broke. I don't think I've tried to uh, pick up a, a jelly. Let's use uh, a bat for this. The, this bat's only got one use left in it. It should be good enough for the jelly. Never mind, it, it died. We're getting lots of armor stones, which is good. I, I feel a little bit better about. Um, what the heck is that, bud? That's that is a lot. All right, let's uh, use the Hellfire Sword. This one's got area of effect, so it should be able to do damage to whatever that thing is. 
Oh god, that it did not take a lot of damage. Let's herb up. It's probably gonna kill me in one shot here. Mm, okay, so it didn't kill us in one shot, but this thing also takes an enormous amount of damage to kill. Um, I don't think I have anything better than what I'm currently using. I guess technically the private house is, is better. No, I really think that the Hellfire Sword is... The, unless it... Maybe it's um, very resistant to, to fire. There is that potential. All right, let's try the private house then. Nope. Nope, that's... Uh, that is actually not going to do it. Um, I can, really cannot see what is going on. Oh God. Okay. We're going to use a herb. We're going to actually, we're going to point up and we're going to take this, pick up that weapon. Wait, what? They avoided it. Okay. We managed to, to grab them, but we might die here. No, we're good actually. Okay. That's our last herb. Let's try this fire spirit. That's going to give us some experience. Wow. That does no damage. Okay, never mind. It casts fire. So it does little damage as a weapon, but then it does a, it's a fire spell. To get too close and you're bound to get burned. Nice. Um. Oh god, he's got a ranged attack as well on top of everything else. Uh, we have no more herbs, so we're just gonna have to hope. We're, we're gonna die. This thing's gonna kill us. There's there's no there's no hope in our way out of that Let's try and kill one other thing Nice, I wish I could pick up that armor stone All right. Well, that was that was uh, as far as we made it there. Weka was defeated final score 6350 turns a lap 74 new high score in recognition of your achievement, you receive armor stones times three. Should really be, uh, you should surely be able to last longer than that. Give it your all. Yo, whatever, punk child. Oh, how about you try it? See how long you last. I just want to like pile drive the child into the well and, and see them get completely dogpiled by d demon dragons. Anyway, that's going to do it for, um, what is this? The world is your weapon. This game's got very good reviews and it's also got, uh, it's hit like 3.0. Holy crap, this game is, an, is $10. My dude, my dude, this game is really good for $10. How many hours do people have in this? Someone's got 21, 20 hours, eight hours. Okay, so it looks like it varies. You could definitely get hours out of this game if that's something that, um, you value most um from your games but i just think that the novelty of this game is is there in spades and i really like the idea of this a lot so i'd be game for doing more uh with this and, and doing a series or something but let me know see let me know if it's something you would like to see uh if you did enjoy this uh definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy